just, you just send me the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good evening, everybody. So we're back. We got our FedEx shipment in. So that means we have the gold glitzies today. So that's what I have on. I do have one more pair. We're going to be showing those tonight. And I can take orders uh, for the next order of them. So if you want a pair, you don't snag the one pair that I still have available tonight. Don't worry. They are a blockbuster now, so I can get them all the time. So name in the random 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 sorry thanks max and uh <laughs> and i will get those ordered for you on the next round all right so we've got some new stuff tonight also pulled out some things that we haven't seen in a little while so hopefully maybe something will match what you have in your closet right now i know we're all trying to match up outfits for the warmer weather although today we have no warm weather it was like 60 degrees today and rainy so it's a little chilly today, so that's why I'm on my little shirt jacket thing. I don't know what we call these things. Uh, I think they're calling them shackets, shirt jackets. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Mom. So, let's see. Oh, um, Fashion Fixes will be in next week. So, maybe by Wednesday. If not, they'll definitely be here by Friday. So, we will uh, see those at least by Friday. Yeah, this is that kind of, um, feels like the suede type material, but it's the fabric and I really like it. It's soft and it's not too hot. So, all right. I feel like I was going to tell you something, but I don't remember what it is. So hopefully somewhere in the show, I'll remember it. This is the last night to accumulate or the last show to accumulate points for this week. So we'll be doing that drawing. Yes, that's what it is. Uh, moleskin. Um, we'll be doing that drawing and we'll announce it on Sunday. Don't forget that you do have to be present to win. We'll spin for what your prize is. Some of the prizes we have on there are one free piece, two free pieces, a blockbuster of your choice, uh, free shipping for your order, free tax for your order, which in some places adds up to more than the shipping or even a free piece. Well, I won't mention those of you who live in California. Your taxes are pretty high out there. Um, so hang around on Sunday for that. We'll be here at 7 o'clock. I think that's all I need to tell you. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you. All right. Let us go ahead and get started. Hopefully some others will join us as we go. We're going to start easy with the, the uh, survey questions tonight and work our way up so that you guys don't have to guess for you know three hours to get it right. This is called Flora Fantasy, and it is in pale pink. It is a very light pink. These are little enamel flowers framed in silver, and they have a little silver bead type center. That's not an actual bead, but that's what it looks like is a little silver bead. The earrings are the silver tassels. I have two of these. This is the length. So let me pull this up a little bit closer for these short ones. Hi, Robin. Good to see you. I'm sorry you missed out the other night, but don't worry. Your turn will come around again. It always does, right? Thank you for sharing. So this is the length of this necklace. It is just below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit just above center chest. It's not quite gonna make it to center chest, but we do have it just above there. So it's a nice length, fit with most of your tops or your blouses or your um, dresses. So this is Flora Fantasy in pink. It is going to be, I have to figure out where I put the numbers, number one tonight, two of those available. Ouch, I just ran over my own toe with my chair. That's, <sighs> One of those days, you know? You need to call a tow truck. I do need to call a tow truck. Max said I need to call a tow truck. You know, at this point, it's going to need to take me away. All right. Our next ones are some iridescent smaller post earrings. I have three pairs of these. These are called Indulge Me. So you can see they are the, the iridescent. These are five-sided, but I hesitate to call them a pentagon because, you know, that's not it's not a regular pentagon shape. The post is up here at the top along the flat side. So this is the size. 
They're not a huge earring. We have three pairs of these. Indulge Me in Multi is number two. I always like those. Some people need to wear posts for um, work because they can't wear very big earrings or dangly earrings at work. So I try to keep a few that are at least a smaller post earring. If I had a pierced ear, I'd get that. <laughs> <laughs> there is so many things wrong with that statement. Max just said if he had pierced ears, he'd wear that earring. I, I can't even begin to unpack <laughs> that sentence. So we're just going to move on and I'm going to pretend he didn't say that. All right, this necklace is called Front and Centered. So this is a two-layer pendant. We have the silver shiny disc behind, and then we have a ring of blue rhinestones, that kind of turquoise blue rhinestones in that front. This is on the snake chain. And then the earrings, also those little blue rhinestones. I have two of this one. This is the length. So again, right up there at the collar or just below it with the two inch extension. Going to be again, just above center chest. None of these want to hang lower today. So this is front and centered in blue. And it is number three. Number four. Look how fast we're moving through these. Number four. Uh oh, this one lost its tag, but these are Saguaro Spring. These are little blue, the turquoise blue, crackle stone flowers. Your disc. This is the length. This is my last pair. So, again, a smaller earring. This one is Saguaro Spring. It is number four tonight. Let me put my phone on do not disturb now that Daniel is home so that nobody interrupts our show because it does, it does like blink out the, the feed if we don't. All right. And we are at number five. So number five is Pyramid Prowl in multi. These are that UV blue. So they're blue and a little touch of green, little triangles. And they have little silver triangles underneath them. The earrings, also the little triangles. So you're going to match all the way around. This is the length of this necklace. Well, we just really have a thing for those collar necklaces tonight. Hi, Marlo. So this one shows just that tiny bit of collar, the hem of the collar with the two inch extension. Again, still gonna be in the upper chest, not gonna make it to mid chest. I do have three of this one. This is Pyramid Prowl and it is in multi and my nose tickles. Number five, I know you guys really needed to know my nose tickled, right? Everybody's waiting to see how long it takes me in the show. We, we should have a betting pool on that one night. How long it takes me in the show for my nose to tickle the first time enough that I have to do something about it. All right, our first survey question has four answers. We are going to take the person who gets number three first, our third answer. And these are numbers. Name the time of night when it's too late to call someone's house. What time of night is it too late to call someone's house? Unless they're, you know, like your best buddy and you can call them at two in the morning. Nine was number four. Ten was number one. And 11 was number three. So Robin, you got that one. 11 was number three. Oh, Ruth was going to guess 11 too. When is it too late to call your house? That's what I want to know. 12 is number two. When is it too late to call your house? 
Max says seven. <laughs> he likes to go to bed early because he gets up really early, but he never goes to bed at seven. He just doesn't want you to call him after seven. Robin says 10 for her house. Yeah, that's about right here. Usually around 10, even if we're not in bed yet, we're kind of at that point in the evening where you don't really want to be interrupted anymore, unless it's somebody we're really close to. 9.30 for Marlo. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because we do get up early in the morning, but a lot of time we are not asleep yet at that time. We're just not ready to be talking on the phone. Now you can call me at 4.30. Yeah, no, you can't. Max says you can call him at 4.30 in the morning, but I say no, you can't. <laughs> Especially not if he's at home, because you're going to wake me up, and that is not going to be good for anyone. Not for you, not for him, not for me. Not for the world in general that day. All right, our next one. This is a choker length necklace. And I need to turn this around a little bit. Because the chain is turned. There we go. So that you can see it a little bit better. This one is called Princess Prominence. In multi. And it is a choker length necklace. So we have the extra extension on this one. This one is iridescent. I don't know if you can tell, but those center rhinestones, the round rhinestones in the center are iridescent. They're surrounded by white rhinestones. And then you can see the white rhinestones are also worked into the chain in between. I have three of these. The earrings also are the little iridescent teardrop shapes. Same as the necklace. So if you like the smaller earrings, you wouldn't even need to upgrade these earrings. This is how it's going to lay on your neck. Isn't that pretty? So this is without any extension. With that longer extension that's on here, it's going to be right here at the collar. So most of our chokers, goodness, most of our chokers with that extra extension are going to lay right around that collar area somewhere. Maybe just a little bit above it maybe right on it, but that's about where they're going to lay. They're meant to be a shorter necklace. So this is Princess Prominence in multi. We have three of these. It is number six. There we go. Number seven. Let's see what I got on here. Number seven is a one and done. They only sent me one of these. And I thought it was cute, especially since we have the new glitzy gold earrings. This one is called Surreal Sparkle in gold. So you can see up at the top, they have these three rows. Hi, Aunt Dora. Three rows of rhinestones fused. And then down toward the bottom, they separate. This is set in gold. It has the flat type chain. The earrings are the little strands of the white rhinestones in gold. How do I make that stop, Matt? This is the length. It's teams. Oh, you can. Can I just turn it down? Yeah. Or will that mess up my... I don't know. You can X out of teams and close it out and open up another... Thing. I can X out of teams. Okay, hang on just a second. Let me X that out. There we go. So that I'm not getting interrupted. Mm -hmm. There we go. So two of these are above the collar. One is laying right on the collar with that two inch extension. It's going to lay down here in the upper chest as well. So we have Surreal Sparkle in gold. And this one is number seven. And if that one doesn't disappear soon, I'm probably going to keep that one because I kind of like that one. Number eight, we have stretchy bracelets. This one is Dancing Dahlias in red. So this stretches in between each of these little discs that has a red enamel flower on it, separated by two polished silver beads. I have two of these bracelets. So Dancing Dahlias in red is number eight. Number nine. Let's do this before we have a whole bunch of people on here. Because I only have one pair left out of this order. 
Again, these are a blockbuster now, so I can get these anytime. But I only got four pairs in this time, and three pairs were pre-sold. So these are the newest blockbuster. This is the gold edition of our Glitzy by Association earrings, hoops. So these I love because they have the, let's see, they are the round and the rectangular cut. I was trying to think what it is. Rectangular cut rhinestones all along the face of the earring, as well as on the inside back curve. So you can see when you're looking at me, you can see the inside back curve and the front. So you get double dose of these rhinestones. They go with everything. They look great. If you don't wear any other jewelry, these are a good one to have. I actually have in white, the silver and white ones, an extra pair in my purse because sometimes I forget. I go out to meeting, I go out to service, or I go somewhere else and either my back pops off one of my earrings and I lose one or I forget to put them on completely. I keep an extra pair of these in my purse just so that I have a pair of earrings on me and that way I can put them on. Hi, Becky. So again, these are the Glitzy by Association in gold. This is my last pair that I have actually in inventory. They are the same ones that I have on. So these are gold with white rhinestones. They are going to be number nine tonight. So one thing that my um, my team leader has been talking about the past two weeks is an emergency bling bag. And it works basically the same as my extra pair of earrings in my purse. She takes a necklace and a pair of earrings and maybe a ring or a bracelet, whatever you usually wear in a neutral color and just puts them in one of the little pouches. In her go bag. Not in her go bag, but that's a great idea. Because yeah. <laughs> I need jewelry if I'm on the run. Um, in a little bag like this. Oh my goodness. And puts it in her pocketbook in case she forgets to put her jewelry on before she leaves in the morning. Or in case something goes wrong with your jewelry. You know, sometimes we break stuff when we're out. Yeah, that didn't work, Max. They're still coming. It's still coming out. Okay. I don't know what's going on. You can't right click and close it out. I tried. Then Teams is actually closed. Anyway, so something happens or you forget to put it on, you have something in your purse. This is Illustrious Icon in copper. That is driving me nuts. Okay, you can right click on the inside out. It doesn't, it doesn't no, I have that. It's signed out. Okay. So this is an iridescent Whoa. copper color teardrop. It has an open back, so you're going to get the light through that, which is what one of the things that makes it kind of glow. This is a shiny copper chain. The earrings are the little teardrops as well. This is the length. I have two of these. So it's hanging just above mid chest right now with the two inch extension. It is going to hang right down to here. So the bottom of it is going to be right here. Top is going to be right about here. So just a little bit lower than mid chest. So two more of these illustrious icon in copper. And it is number 10. Becky, you usually carry some. Yeah, and I carry extra earring backs in my wallet, too, because it never fails. I will get out, <clears throat> and I will lose an earring back somewhere. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Esley. So I just put a couple in the little change portion of my wallet. My daughter uses them, too. She's always, Mom, do you have an extra earring back? Because I just lost mine. You know how it goes. You don't want to lose your earring. So whether you have an emergency bling bag, like we talked about, whether you just have an extra pair of earrings in your purse, like I keep in mine, or whether you just keep earring backs, <clears throat> or some combination of all of the above, that's a great thing to have to be prepared. All right, let's see. We're at number 10, so we have a question. We have a survey question. Let's see. What do you want, Max? I click on settings and notifications and turn those off. In what? Sound. 
Do you have icon on your thing? Yeah. Right click. Okay. Settings, Let's... notification, and then just say turn off the sound. All right. Let me see if I can really. Do, 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 do. I don't see notifications. All right. I think I got it anyway. Okay. Let's see. Now I forgot which one I was going to ask. Kelly Martin. Yeah. Yes, Max says hi, Kelly. Yep. He sees you over there. All right, here we go. Four answers on this one. We are going to take number two. Name a reason why a college football player might get kicked off his team. A college football player. Why might they get kicked off their team? Drinking. Drinking was actually not on there, and I was surprised. Fighting was number two. Fighting was number two. So Shannon got that one first. Uh, bad grades was number four. Bad grades. Yeah, drinking should have been on there, right? But that's usually where the fighting comes from. They drink and then they fight. <laughs> What other things might cause them to get kicked off the team in college? This first one will get you kicked off any team. Also can lead to fighting. Not coming to practice. Nope, that wasn't it. That will get you fined. And I think eventually they'll kick you off. But to start with, it's not going to get you. Criminal charges. Oh, that's a good choice. But not always. Not playing well. Not playing well was not on there. Drugs, they're specific kind of drugs. Not just any drugs. Oh, messing up for a bet, throwing the game. That's not on there, but that's a good one. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. They find you doing that. They don't want you doing that again. Domestic violence, sadly not always. Steroids, steroids was number one. Yeah, leads to those roid rages, you know, that leads to fighting and all kinds of other problems. And our number three one, which nobody got, was a bad attitude. Bad attitude, especially in school sports, will get you kicked off a team. Now, in professional football, I think they all have a bad attitude. So <laughs> it doesn't count later when you go professional. See, that's what I need to do. I just need to go professional and then I can have my bad attitude. Right, Mom? I got told that the whole time I was growing up that I had a bad attitude. Sometimes I still do. Let's not lie. Sometimes we all do. Depends on the day and what's going on. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to become professionals so we can have bad attitudes. I'll still have to get out your secrets. <laughs> It's okay. I was always in trouble for my attitude. This one is kaleidoscope charm in multi. So we have little circular pieces and they have different colored rhinestones inside them. So we have like a dark, is it a, it's so, like a purple color, a dark blue, blue green, Lighter colors, pink, yellow, and a lighter green. So we've got a little bit of everything in there. And then our earrings are the little green ones. I do have two of these. This was the Life of the Party necklace from this month. And I did order a couple extra. So that's why I have it. Normally these would need to be pre-ordered. But like I said, I picked up a couple extra. So this one is sitting right below your collarbones. With the two inch extension, it's going to sit right there at or just below that collar. So it's a little extension there. This one is Kaleidoscope Charm in multi. And we have two of these. This one's going to be number 11. 
actually, I think that'd be pretty with a solid color too, because it would add a little extra to a solid outfit. You know how it is when you wear a black dress, you don't just want that same color. So it would look pretty with black. It would look pretty with white. I think if you had a white uh, top and a multicolored skirt, that would be cool with it. All right, next up, we have a set of bracelets. I have just one of this set. It is in purple. This is called Malibu Marina. So these are the clear acrylic and also opaque purple beads. This is three separate strands, so you can wear them together or you can wear them separately. We have the silver cage beads on that center strand. All these stretch. So they're going to fit your wrist. So we have Malibu Mixer in purple. It is number 12. Mixer or Marina? Oh, sorry, Marina. Mm -hmm. Malibu Mixer is a different one. I was looking at bracelet names earlier. I'm sorry. I'm going to get them all mixed up. It's one of those days. But Max insists that I be correct every time. <laughs> That's what he's here for. All right, this one's called Belle of the Beach. It is in green. So this is a light olive green. These are the cloudy beads. Uh, yes, you did, Shannon. Shannon, uh, Becky, and Helen, all of you pre-ordered the glitzy earrings, so you already have a pair. Okay, so the ones with the little cloudy or milky strands going through these beads. We also have the, I think they call this burnt coral. So it's kind of a peachy coral color. And then discs in that same, the same uh, cloudy or milky strands in the peach and green. I don't know what I'm saying. The earrings are the little green discs like that. I have two of these. This one hangs to mid chest. So it is a mid chest necklace. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down here at the top of the bus. I like this color combination. It's nice with the green and the peachy, orangey peach. So this one is Bell of the Beach in green. And we have two of these. This one is number 13. <sighs> number 14, speaking of beach, we've been having shell things come out. Lately, this is one of our urban necklaces. So this one does not have earrings with it because it can be technically worn by a man or a woman, but I'm gonna tell you that these are light pink beads. So I'm not sure if any man is gonna really wanna wear it like that, but these are wooden beads in pink and espresso brown. And then we have the little shells. This is threaded on the like beige cotton string. And this has the sliding adjustment. We have the knot closure. So you're not going to get any extension with this. But um, these sides will adjust a little bit. I'm trying to get them to adjust, but they're kind of stuck right now. This one's called uh, Bermuda Beachcomber in pink. This one sits right there at the collar. Nice beachy necklace. Like I said, you can move these. You see the little knots? You can move these a little bit to give yourself some extra room. This is Bermuda Beachcomber <clears throat> in pink. I have seven of this one. This one is number 14. Our shell stuff is really popular right now, so got to keep a few of those in stock. Everybody loves the beach. I love the beach. I want to go to the beach. All right. Next up, we have Tropical Terrace in multi. So these are a hammered earring. They also have some etching in almost like a paisley design. If you can see that. They have three beads up here. There's a little brown one, a beige, and an olive green. Suspended from fish hooks. This is the length and size. I do have two pairs of these. So this is Tropical Terrace in Multi, and they are going to be 
number 15 tonight. 15. All right. Looking at what I've got left. This is our last question for the night. Let's see. Number 15 to Marlowe. You'll like those. This one has four answers. An interesting one. Four answers. Uh, let's go with number three. Name something that gets rolled out. Rolled out. Not the barrel, Max. We're not rolling out the barrel, okay? It's not that kind of show. Max is our comic relief over here. Dough. Dough was number two. Got to roll out that dough. That reminds me of cinnamon rolls. Let's see, I love cinnamon rolls. Money, not money. I'm following Robert. Red carpet. Red carpet is number one. Shout it again. No. Carpet or a rug. Yeah, that one was not on there. That one was not on there. Surprised, but it's not on there. Something else you roll out. Something that gets rolled out. A tire. Well, I guess you can roll it out if you want to. I prefer that they just stay on the car. Toilet paper. That's a good one, Ashley. That was not on there. A joint. No, that gets rolled up. <laughs> a hose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. That one's not on there. Hi, Terry. Something that gets rolled out. A lawnmower. Oh, that could that could be true. Not on there. What else would you roll out when you got ready to use it? A new car. Why are you going to roll it out? You're supposed to start the engine. The barrel, not the barrel. Max already tried that, Terry. <laughs> luggage. Oh, hopefully you've got the rolling luggage. I hate carrying suitcases. Not on there. Not carpet. Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag was number four. One more thing, and it's the winning answer. Nobody's gotten it yet. Something else you roll out. If you're getting ready to use it, you have to roll it out because it's usually rolled up. An extension cord. That's a good guess, Shannon. Portable washer. Portable washer is also a good guess. A new product rollout. That is some creative thinking. That's very good, Kelly. This one's for exercise. What might you roll out? If you're getting ready to exercise, specific kind of exercise needs you to roll something out. A mat, a yoga mat. It was very specific. Yoga mat was it, Kelly. Got to roll out that yoga mat. Or if you're Caitlin and you're borrowing mom's yoga mat, you leave it on your floor and then you proceed to paint your walls and you get paint splatters all over it. I know that's oddly specific, right? Really happened. Did finally throw it away. I, I used it for a while, but then I finally threw it away. Also, yoga mats make great camping mats. Underneath your your um, sleeping bag gives you that extra little bit of layer of foam. Really nice. Not that I would know. All right. This one is regally refined in green. These are upside down teardrops in emerald green rhinestone. And then in between each one, we have two white rhinestones. This has that rounded snake chain in silver. Our earrings are the smaller green teardrops. This is the length. This seems to be our default length today. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I was just into collar necklaces. This one's right up there at the collar, just showing that little bit of hem on the shirt at the collar with the two inch extension. This one is going to reach mid chest. So at least this one reaches mid chest. Most of our others didn't. 
I do have three of these. This is Regally Refined in green. And it is number 16. It is a beautiful color. I can't remember what other color we had, uh, Terry. It might have been white. I know green is what I've got. Number 17. These are called Eco Eden. These are a semi-transparent jade green bead along with silver beads, double hoop. These are on a fish hook back. I had to get a pair of these for myself. I have two more pairs. This is the length and size. So these are called Eco Eden. <clears throat> My voice is going in and out, I'm sorry. Eco Eden in green and it is number 17. Max mowed the lawn yesterday and it's killing me. I think actually he's trying to kill me, but we won't, we're not going to speculate on that right now. But um, just know if something happens to me, just saying. Number 18, just have one of these. This is called Envious Elegance in silver. These are, let's see if we can focus. It doesn't like me cover my face. 17 for Kelly. These are teardrop shaped hematite rhinestones. You can see that these are the dark gray. These are the unmirrored ones. So they're the translucent. We also have the white rhinestones mixed in. So these are little clusters of the white and the hematite. The earrings are the white rhinestones. Just have one of these. This is the length. So it is about three eighths of an inch below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to reach center chest. So it's Envious Elegance in silver. And it is number 18. 18. 19. I just have one of these left. These were so popular. I'm surprised I even had one left. This is called Always a Bloom in silver. So these are the little wire flowers. And then we have little pearly beads in between. That is the silver. So those are a little, they're a very light gray color. So little wire flowers and the pearly beads, the earrings, also the wire flowers with the pearly beads. So just one of these left. This is the length. Also about three eighths of an inch below that collar. Very delicate smaller necklace with the two inch extension it is going to sit just above mid chest becky wants that one you got it becky these were so pretty this is always a bloom in silver it is number 19 that belongs to becky there you go max and number 20 now my hand is itching See, this is how my life goes. These are called Cat's Eye Class in green. And I had to take them out of the package because I ended up with an extra pair of these. Cat's Eye Class in green. So the pale green. I think they're calling this a celery green this um, season. The little moonstones in teardrop shapes. This is in the white rhinestone teardrop and then when we have little white rhinestones scattered in so it's nice with that glowy moonstone and then we have the sparkly rhinestones also a really pretty shade of green this is the length and size so this is cat's eye class in green it's my last pair of these number 20. all right so that is going to wrap up the show for tonight if you're watching the replay, you can still claim things on the replay as long as they didn't sell out. Just leave a comment and I will see it later and I will add that to your pouch. Invoices for your purchases will go out tomorrow afternoon. If I don't have your email address for your invoice, make sure you send that to me so that I can send you an invoice for your stuff. <clears throat> and then I will ship them out, usually on Monday. Uh, Esley, I'm going to ship yours a little bit early. You had that fashion fix that you wanted. So I'm going to ship yours tomorrow so that it goes ahead and gets there in time for you to wear it. 
Um, let's see. We'll be back Sunday. I haven't decided on a theme for the show yet, so we'll uh, just kind of see what happens. We might have to do a viewer request. We haven't done that in a while, where you can request what kind of pieces you want. That sounds like fun. As long as I have the energy to do that, because that does take a little bit of extra energy, um, we'll do that on Sunday. If not, I'll have something else planned for you. So thank you all for coming out tonight. We appreciate it. Let's get back to your Friday night and have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday. Good night.